In this video, I'll help you set up the Mi Audio Connect Bluetooth audio transmitter using the optical cable. This connection method is compatible with most newer TVs as long as they have a digital optical audio output. If your TV does not have the optical output, please try one of the other connection methods. The first step is to remove the plastic caps from the optical cable and plug it into the TV and connect transmitter. The optical port on the connect is covered by a door. The door does not need to be removed, it will move out of the way when you plug in the cable. When plugging in the cable to the connect, you should feel it click into place. If it's not clicking into place, rotate the cable until it does. Once the optical cable is plugged into the connect and your TV, raise the volumes on both your TV and the headphones to check for sound. If you're getting sound, then you're good to go. If you're not getting sound, we'll need to adjust some of your TV settings. These settings can be located in the audio menu or in the expert, advanced, or additional settings menu depending on your TV. We'll need to change your audio output to optical and then change your audio output format to PCM if it's currently set to Dolby or 5.1 or 7.1 or something else. If you can't locate these settings or you're still not getting sound, please contact the TV manufacturer and ask them how to switch your digital audio out to PCM mode. Now let's turn the volume on your TV all the way up. You can now adjust the volume using the controls on your Bluetooth headphone. Once you've finished using the Connect, simply turn off your headphones and they will disconnect automatically. If your Connect is plugged into power at all times, you do not need to turn it off between each use. If you do choose to turn it off, simply turn it back on before you turn your headphones back on. Once you turn your headphones back on, they will reconnect automatically shown by the solid blue light on the Connect. If you have any more questions, please reach out to us at support at meaudio.com and we'd be happy to get those answered for you.